guys welcome back to another video we are on uh, Lake Belton today um, I decided to bring the uh, jet boat the jet pack on it to see if I could go up the Leon River from Lake Belton and uh, it's pretty low and I got about halfway up not very far and it turned into six inches of solid mud um, even if I was on a plane I, I could get through there but I don't know how far I can go before I it gets too so shallow I'll get stuck so I didn't attempt it um, I was gonna go up the river and uh, see if we could go all the way up to the log jam but can't even get close enough to the uh, channel to uh, get into the river so uh, I backed off came back down a little bit was fishing uh, I got some CJ's punch bait on one rod and I have uh, some thread fin shad that I got from the boat ramp uh, with a cast net and I got those underneath a popping cork or a, a cork with a uh, a bobber stopper so I'm setting the uh, I'm throwing in five foot of water and the cork is set up about three foot three and a half foot so the, my bait is suspended right off the bottom um, so far um, so I bounced around in the six foot of water down the channel and didn't catch anything so I moved up next to the bank and I'm casting up next to the bank on this uh, rocky point on this rocky edge here and uh, so far I've gotten two bites and a two and a half pound channel cat and hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll uh, get into some more fish um, they're not I don't think there's a whole lot of fish here there's just one or two because I'm getting some bites but I'm not uh, just raking them in or anything but my uh, main goal was to go up the river and pretty much a bust on that there's no way I can get up the river I'm gonna have to go in uh, put the boat in at Iron Bridge boat ramp and probably what I'd have to do is put the boat in there and then go up the river but I, I just got off work this morning and headed straight to the lake and uh, so I've been up for 24 hours already so uh, I might head over there tomorrow see if we can even get the boat launched um all right we'll get back with you when we get when we catch another fish or have something exciting We're out so i'm just stacking up some shad on here through the eyes Cross your fingers and hope they stay on the hook when, on impact. So, always set that bait clicker and loose drag just in case you're turned around and looking at something else or messing with the other rod or whatever and never know. Well, I just got checked by the game warden. I forgot to record it, but everything checks out. Seems like I have everything that I needed. And they were real nice. There were three of them on the boat. They were, uh, they were pretty cool. So it's always good to follow the rules like you're supposed to. And uh, they're, they'll be nice to you. <laughs> I just had another takedown on, on the shad, but I missed it. I don't know why the camera takes so long to turn on. Let's see if it comes back. Probably a gar. I think the gar has been whacking my baits pretty good. Just got a <clears throat> got a big hit 
and the cork went under for about five seconds and then came back up. We need that. They're probably pulling on the bottom of those uh, shads tail wise because they haven't looked through the eyes. So they're probably pulling them down. They probably they might have stripped them off. Hopefully not. Hopefully they're still there. Oh, looks like it's getting messed with. Move it around a little bit. See if they'll, they'll think they're alive. Because they did. moving Ooh, yeah baby this is what we've been waiting for Woo! that's a good channel cat <clears throat> come here buddy That's a good one there. <laughs> he is twenty three inches long. He's going four pounds seven six ounces. Four pounds seven six ounces. Okay guys, here's an update. Uh, moved around a couple of places, but I'm staying pretty close to the bank. I'm throwing um, some thread fin shad underneath the cork with a bobber stopper and I got it set about three feet and I'm throwing it in five feet and I just caught uh, this uh, almost five pound channel right here he was four pounds seven five at four point seven five pounds that was a pretty good fight um, on a circle hook underneath that cork um, I'm just trying to keep it in the same general area that I've been getting bites on. I caught a blue cat earlier, but he was only about 12 inches, so I, just, I didn't feel him or anything. He was little. Um, so far, that's uh, three fish with two keepers. But I've been out here a while, and uh, the wind kind of laid. It's pretty hot out here. My knees are all sunburned already. But uh, we'll keep plugging at it for a little longer and see what produces all right we'll catch you later out man i missed another one sucker went down took off fumbling with the camera come on back time I'm leaving it under it's probably a gar they seem to be the ones that hit it and leave it well guys that's it for today headed back to the boat ramp caught a two and a half pound channel cat and a 4.75 pound channel cat on thread thin shad uh, throwing the cast net out over there at the boat ramp uh, fishing in about three foot of water that's 
about it. I didn't catch anything on the stink bait, on the uh, punch bait, but being on the water is better than going to work, I guess. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see and what kind of content you want me to go tackle. We'll uh, catch you later. Out. Thank <laughs> you.